students. Today we're going to learn how to cut our hunks of clay off our big bag to get them ready for centering on the wheel. And we're going to learn how to stick those balls of clay down and also how to center our clay up today. So I'm going to start by using my wire tool. I'm going to make it nice and tight in my hands and I'm going to cut down into my bag of clay about three inches down. I'm gonna cut straight across the bag, right across the block here. And then I'm gonna take my tool and I'm gonna cut that hunk in half, pull my tool back up, and then I'm gonna cut again crosswise so I get four nice chunks of clay. Your chunks of clay should be about, about a pound. And when they ball up, when you form them into a ball, they should be about the size of a softball. We don't want to get our balls of clay too small, smaller than say a baseball, but softball size is good. That's going to give you about a pound and a half of clay, which is going to be the right starting point for learning how to center and throw on the wheel. So I have my hunk of clay here. And I'm gonna start by pounding this hunk of clay into a nice round ball. It's important that you prep your balls of clay really nicely and make them very round so that they're ready to go. If you have several hunks of clay that you're gonna ball up, you can do that. Just make sure that you return them to the plastic bag so they're not sitting and drying out on your work surface while you're throwing this one. To get our clay on the wheel, we take our ball of clay and we snap it down right in the center of the wheel. You can look over your clay and see if you need to scooch it just a little bit so it's more aligned. Once you get the clay aligned, we're gonna turn the wheels on and we wanna be going about 40 miles an hour, 35, 40 miles an hour. I take my finger and I seal my ball of clay right up to the wheel head, just like that. Now, to get centered, it's important that you start off using a lot of water. Your hands should be shiny. The clay should be shiny all the time as you're throwing. Your wheel will slow down a little bit as you squeeze the clay and bear down. So you might have to adjust the speed a little bit as you go. To start to get centered, I'm gonna squeeze on either side of the clay and I'm going to hold my hands completely over the clay. I do not hold my hands like this to squeeze the clay. You don't have control over the top of it if you do that. So I squeeze on either side and I'm going to pull the clay up into a cone shape. As I go up higher, my hands collapse over each other. They slide over each other to make a smaller space and cone the clay up. So more water, I'm gonna squeeze from the bottom and cone my clay up. Just like that. As I cone my clay up, I can only go up once or twice. Here, this is already tall enough. Now, I need to push the clay down to get it centered. To do that, I put my left hand on the left hand side of the clay and my left thumb on top. This hand, the right hand, I use the edge of my palm here to push down on the top of the clay to karate chop down as we like to say. And this is in tandem with this hand. So my, my right hand and my left hand look something like that and then the clay fits right in there. So I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna lean in very strongly with this hand as I push down 
with my right hand. It's actually quite important that you lean in firmly with your palm, and I'll explain why in a minute. As I get low, I start to get a little wobble. That's the clay trying to center up and the imperfections sort of presenting themselves. So I go low and then I tuck the heel of my hand in, roll it up, roll it down, and it smooths out the outside. I'm not quite centered, I'm getting close. So to see this all again from a side view, I grab my clay, I squeeze it up into the cone shape, and I'm squeezing firmly. Now I have my left hand on the side with my left thumb on top. My right hand, the edge of my palm is on top. And these two actions are working together. You can see that I am almost pushing my clay over to get it centered. I'm going down, down, and then as I get lower, I tuck the heel of my hand in. Both hands have very equal pressure and they are both working together. One more time. Squeeze my clay up. Push the clay down. Now, if you are not leaning in enough with this hand, you will notice this clay situation start to happen where you get this mushroom cap. You don't want that. So to fix that issue, to fix that throwing issue, you really need to lean in with the palm of your left hand way more than you have been if this is happening to you. So down I go, I tuck the heel of my hand in, as I get low, roll it back up, and keep my clay centered. To know that your clay is centered, there's a couple different methods. You can use your wooden stick and draw a line all the way around your clay very lightly to see if the line is going all the way around. You can also just put your hands on the clay and see if they're rocking back and forth. If they're not moving, then your clay is centered. If your clay is not centered, you'll know it. I'm going to knock this, this ball of clay off just a little bit. So if I, oops, if I draw my line around my ball of clay here, you'll see that the line is not going all the way around. If I put my hands on this clay, you can see that my wrists are rocking. So it's important that you squeeze in and force the clay to hold still, force your hands to hold still. The number one thing about throwing is that you control the clay. You don't let the clay control you. You have to tell it what to do and how to center up. You can't be afraid. That's basically centering in a nutshell.